Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. Today our video is on the Brave Valley event and all the new changes Camel introduced into this one. In the past, it used to be such a fun event where you can strategize a lot, put a lot of teamwork to outsmart even stronger enemies and castles and become the champions in this event. And now with the new changes, it even puts into question whether it is actually worth it to do this event on a competitive level. So without further ado, let's get into more details on this. And for all the new players and also those who haven't really seen this event before, let me tell you a little bit more about this event itself. Only the top four alliances in the realm based on your alliance battle power are eligible for participating in the Brave Valley event. Furthermore, you have to be minimum C22 and have been in the alliance for at least three days. The event itself is divided into two phases. There is a group match and there is a knockout phase. In the group match, your alliance will be put into one of these groups where there are a total of eight alliances. And then you will fight each other to determine who are the top four alliances based on your points and these four alliances will then advance to the knockout phase. In these group matches, there are actually two rounds. First day is the defense phase. Basically, it means that you need to put your troops into this defense formation where you are going to use your armies to defend your own castles in the event. Only those who put their troops in the defense phase are able to participate in the attack phase. That's something to keep in mind. Only 60 members in the alliance can participate at a time. So make sure your alliance puts your strongest players in the event and fill out all the 60 spots. And after the group phase is over, the top four will advance to the knockout phase and then it will be basically one-on-one -on -one alliance fights where the winners will advance, the losers will get knocked out and then it continues until only two alliances remain and they will fight for the championship. So with the new change, there is this particular thing called the war horn where you can use special coins called the brave coins to fortify the buff effects that your alliance members will have. This particular thing is applicable for all the alliance members. So it is a very useful thing when it comes to using buffs because of these extra items that we will get into in a moment. There is this event now that's called the brave quest. Here you can complete specific tasks and get these brave coins. You can get a total of 30 brave coins by doing these quests. And some of them are really bad, like in my opinion, using thousand superior rune stones to get three of these brave coins when you need a lot of them to actually fortify your war horn. It's actually not that great when it comes to free to play players or people who play on a budget. In the past, there used to be an event where you get points for doing some activities like recruiting troops, raising your battle power, killing monsters, etc. And based on your points, you got ranking rewards. And on top of that, when you reach certain point levels, you could also unlock boxes, which had some useful items within. And one of these was the Brave Valley box, which gave items that you could use in the event when you're attacking or defending. And this event is not there anymore. And they introduced this Brave Quest event instead of that, and then put these Brave coins to use them to buy special items now that we used to get from our boxes randomly. And now you have to spend these brave coins to buy them. And there are different qualities for these buffs as well. The biggest change that happened here is the orange quality buffs. However, you need to spend real money to get them, especially this particular buff the resurrection for attacking this basically revives all your attack troops even after they die and the bonus effects won't change and you can also reselect the attack route so that's another thing when you're in the attack phase once you start with the castle line or the stronghold line or a b c d there you had to finish the whole line from the lower level castle to the highest level to be able to go to the next one now with this particular buff you can also reselect that and this is a really strong buff however the amount of money that you need to get this once is 120 euros on my side i think it is about 100 dollars, and you can actually use only one time per battle so imagine the amount of money that you need to spend to be able to use it every time you need it and the worst case 
about this particular buff is that if somebody is like a, a big spender and also it's a monster castle, they can actually keep reselecting themselves and they are the only castle that's needed there to steamroll your entire alliance, like without having any place for strategy in it. Like you can simply buy a lot of things and then just win it. So that's a really bad thing for this event right now. And many, many people are actually really upset that they don't even feel like it's worth it to participate anymore. In the brave gift section, you have different face targets and if you finish them then you can also get these extra rewards although the really useful items like azurites or beast elements or superior rune stones or even the gold sionic tattoos they are all coming up at much higher face targets and that's gonna be tons of money that you need to spend even to get there so all in all i think this event has become a big pay to win event again and that's adding another great event into the list of events that actually got ruined the merit points is a very good thing about this event so it's not a really bad event in that sense like any alliance even if you don't perform well you get at least 200 or 300 merit points from this event which is a really good thing and then the individual rewards are the ones that they introduced now the difference here is that in the group matches every member in your alliance will get these rewards regardless of whether they were able to participate in the event itself like only 60 lords can put their troops in there but the individual rewards i believe is only possible when you are at least contributing to the warhorn every member in your alliance can contribute to the warhorn even if you don't put troops in the castles so you can earn some individual points there however this total 200 ranks is coming from the entire event so it's not really much of a fair chance for everyone in my opinion so only the alliance reward is worth it and you can get these individual ranking points different ways you can get it when you're using these different buff items and you can actually see how much individual honor points you would get when you use particular battle items when you click on this exclamation mark obviously the buff quality determines how many points you get the resurrection attack buff that we talked about earlier gives the maximum amount of 60,000 owners just by using one time the rest of them you can buy them with these brave coins 30 coins you can obtain for free the rest you need to actually buy it i mean the funny thing is this face targets even they put it at 50 instead of 30 you could at least give something for all the players but no just like the journey of miracles event or any other event that they have introduced recently they would give just enough coins or special items that are super close so that people will spend something to get that at least first level of rewards same like in pony event as well i think it's the same way it's sad that they try to make it all pay to win i really hope they see that people are unhappy they're not really having fun with the event and they will try to change some things about it so that we can give more emphasis on strategy and not just money to play the game because it is a war game it is a strategy game and it's not just about spending money so all in all one of the good things that happened with the changes is the warhorn all your members in the alliance who are active can get those 30 brave coins and actually fortify the abilities for your alliance members as a whole the only problem is that this warhorn will reset after every round so you need to make sure that your members put these fortifications in a way that you will still have coins left over for buffing up later without spending money to actually put some buffs for your lines here. And another good thing is that the free merit points are still there when your alliance is able to participate in the group phase at least and you would get something out of it just for participating. The rest sadly is more negative than positive here that everything else is pay to win at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about this particular event and all the changes and now you can at least think about some of the ways to actually maximize your rewards from this event and also to use all these changes into your advantage without spending too much money and have some fun with it see you again next week goodbye guys